China warned Western nations on Thursday they would pay the price for a diplomatic boycott of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. Washington announced its boycott earlier in the week, saying it was prompted by widespread rights abuses by China. Australia, Britain and Canada followed suit in a flurry of diplomatic bonhomie on Wednesday. U.S. and Israeli defense chiefs are expected to discuss possible military exercises that would prepare for a worst-case scenario to destroy Iran's nuclear facility should diplomacy fail and if their nation's leaders request it. A senior U.S. official said, Iran denies seeking nuclear weapons, saying it wants to master nuclear technology for peaceful purposes. An Indian Air Force helicopter that crashed and killed the defense chief, General Bipin Rewat, and 12 others lost contact with air traffic control seven minutes before it was supposed to land and sent no distress call before it was found in flames in a forested area, India's defense minister has said. India's farmers will call off a long-running protest after the government concedes to a clutch of pending demands, including assurances to consider guaranteed prices for all produce, not just rice and wheat. Union leaders have said tens of thousands of farmers had staged the year-long protest to repeal three new laws passed in September last year. An explosion in central Mali killed seven United Nations peacekeepers and seriously wounded three others, the UN mission said. A logistics convoy hit an improvised explosive device in an area where Islamic State operate. No group claimed responsibility. The increase in Omicron COVID cases in the UK is on such steep trajectory that the country has been warned to prepare for 1 million cases by the end of the month. Currently, the UK has recorded 568 confirmed cases of the variant, but the UK's health secretary told British lawmakers that we know that the actual number of infections will be significantly higher. Pakistan has lost 10 lives to the coronavirus. According to NCOC, 350 new infections has been reported. The positivity rate was recorded at 0.74%. Pakistan reported its first suspected case of the Omicron variant of coronavirus Thursday, as per the Sindh Health Department. A private hospital in Karachi reported the first case of the variant in a 57-year-old female patient who is unvaccinated, confirmed Sindh Health Minister. The government of Sindh Thursday announced winter vacations for schools and colleges, public and private, across the province. Schools and colleges will remain closed for winter vacations from December 20 till January 1, 2022, as per a decision taken by the Education Department's Steering Committee. The remains of a Sri Lankan factory manager who was killed in a shocking and deadly mob attack in Pakistan after being accused of blasphemy were laid to rest in Sri Lanka. A mob of factory employees in Pakistan's Punjab province tortured and burned Priyantha Kumar last Friday. Pakistan has not offered any military bases to China in Gwadar. Balakistan clarified national security adviser in an interview with Stephen Sacker for Hartalk. However, Dr. Yusuf said there are economic bases of China in Pakistan where any country in the world can invest. The Indian Cricket Board's removal of Virat Kohli as ODI captain was inevitable when he refused to step down after a dismal T20 World Cup. Local media said on Thursday, the star batsman had relinquished his leadership of a T20 side who were eliminated in the group stage of the World Cup, anathema to fans in a country obsessed by cricket. NASA's next-generation asteroid impact monitoring system has just been activated. The new system can take data collected from telescopes and work out the path of an asteroid across the next century. The updated system is particularly good at predicting special and unusual cases not covered by the original Century system it succeeds.